He is a rapper, he's a student, he's a recording and performing artist from uh, 2 Faith 4. Can you put our hands together and welcome BMX to Bounce Nation! BMX Nation, what a one! What a one! Rada. How you doing? I'm good, you? Good to see you. Good to see you All too. black everything. All black everything, red glasses. <laughs> yeah. It's all right. All right, so uh, camera four, kindly introduce yourself to our uh, fans at home. Talk to them. My name is Bmix. Mm. Bmix, uh, KE official Killer Mahali kwa Killer Platform. Um, I'm an artist, an actor with appearances pale and TV trappers ilikuwa nga back in zile ma times of COVID. Mm. Also an executive producer for a show in Ajita The Breakdown to 54. Basically, I'm sani and I'm a breakdown lyrics. Ah. To we get into behind the details, behind the lyrics and the stuff. All right. Also a brand ambassador and also a graduate. Ulu kome sama student ni me graduate. Oh, you already graduated. Yeah. Yeah. Look at yes. you. Welcome to the world bounce nation hasal na kupeleka aje tunangangana na tunasonga nayo na hii economy venye inabadilika tunajaribu tu all right and your name is quite unique so maybe you can tell us about uh, your name before we get into it so my name bmix um comes from my first name is brand and um not catch kwa b and then there's mix my second name is an m and then uh, i do a mixture of different genres no no kama vile umesikiza hizi ngoma ni mapo for me kuna fire band fire band kuna some reggae vibes ukisikiza what did you mean it's some mellow vibes ukisikiza chasing dreams it's some hard hitting all right so you are versatile yeah. all right not bad not bad at all welcome to the show and of course uh, just like everybody else i want to know i know you started singing professionally back in 2019 yeah. but before then I'm, I'm sure like there are a few people i'm a few things that inspired you to do mm. that so maybe you can tell us uh what inspired you to get into the industry did you always know is what you wanted to do or is it something that just came along the way imagine for me yeah tangu ni kwa Raima tulikuwa anga na talent shows nilikuwa na hizo talent shows naenda na na nacheza mambo za kina TI na kina Ken Raise na sikia wasi anabambika unacheki mm -hmm. mm -hmm. fast forward high school mm -hmm. pale mafanki si kwa na hata mm -hmm. unacheki nilikuwa anga wale mafanki holics na tukifika pale ile tuko vibe vibe na, na, na wachezea mambo za kina Eminem hiyo ni time sasa Eminem alikuwa ni hit na ile kwa labaki na Lil Wayne flani sijui ni no love ama ni something yeah no love yeah, yeah, no love, yeah. nilikuwa anga na na iroga mpaka mabema anabambika Ah, no, no. so you are doing it for the ladies. <laughs> He's a ladies man, by the way. Ladies of Bounce Nation. <laughs> Bounces in the building. Bounces in the building. So, kacheki after hapo tuka we had a group. Mm. Tukuanga hapo high school tukasema tukimaliza. You tukimaliza high school tutaenda tuingie studio we record. Tukamaliza kila mtu akaenda. Your group it never Kila mtu akatembea, kila mtu akatembea, <laughs> but moja wakani hit up anaitwa Jayvik. Mm -hmm. And that was in 2015, and that is the first time in Libya was studio. Ah. But when I checking on my talk, your first experience in studio. Imagine, funny thing is, the one of the first tracks we ever recorded is in the album, thrown the album, and yeah, I'm pushing yeah. currently to record 2015. Says him to 2023. Like in him, say Kachini has kissed your track. When I catch like from the onset, when I lose my guy, Kwaniki too. In a canicam, he'll come and then he'll jeans. See. Because ata niki to a throne, my first official track, I said going like my guy. When you may find it so professional, I'm saying that I'm going to find it too far away. I think it's usually just the hunger, you know. Yeah. When you're yeah. starting, you can only hunger. You want to prove to the world and everyone else, like I have it in me, I can do this. There's someone who told me the other day, like um, the reason why our I would say like record labels sign artists, they'll sign an artist who when you already an answer could you establish, mm -hmm. they they find our our signing you what to So you have to have a name yeah, somehow. Have to, uh, so you have a name. They come, they sign you, and then you know most of the most of them they own your masters. Yeah. So they'll take two, three albums from you before I could drop. Yeah. And those are that is your best work. Let, me tell, let me tell you something sad yeah. with with the record labels. Record label unajua. Thing is for artists when you look at Mazuanga Tango Kitambo, Kina, Kina, Kina Taylor Swift, Kina Drake, mm. Arnold Konga, my superstars. Mm. Now I'll come to your record labels. But record labels and you currently in our time, one at a come sunny when you're shy hit. When you're shy, when I saw how Kuna, your artist development. Yeah. There's an artist development and you're in a fuck of fun. Now how fun. Exactly. So that, the argument was if you're already there, you already have a fan base. Why so, would you do the label? Especially, then they own your music. Especially yeah. after. 
after yeah. you know that they're going to mess you up because unapata ngonyanga kwa lebu what they do they give you an advance but akupa ngonya advance you advance no usipo usiporudisha na usiporudisha kiboko na you advance imagine someone giving you 50m wewe mwenyewe uko zile yani music inaweza nipea 50m wewe unaona una menes unaona umenes utaenda uball unini lakini umesahau kila kitu kwenye kwa expenses za kukienda kwa studio recording time story za ku push marketing story ya kufanya hizo ma packaging hizo vitu zote they are all on you mm. na hiyo ni kitu wanasa wangu kuambia unapata umeenda umefanya your, your staff lakini zile returns zenye zimekuja hazifi you have yeah. to pay back you, you have, have to pay, pay back, back. To pay now back. you ask for a second loan no do another project <laughs> and then you sink in deeper there's a wise man ali sema man if the product is free you're the product you're the product yeah. you're the, you're the prize yeah you're the prize so you have to be very careful hakuna chabure hakuna what to see what jinga akisema hivyo hakuna chabure wahenga 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 akisema hakuna chabure they were not they knew what they were saying <laughs> but anyway uh, now you have an album before we talk about that i know you've worked with other artists i saw you did a song with a um, an artist from congo how do you approach that how do you apo- uh, like uh, approach working with other artists especially from other countries how do you go about that do you already uh, have an established relationship with them I mean, how do you link up with them well let us um, coincidences too zina kuanga zimekam alafu funny enough uh, nime establish kajina alafu unajua maybe we work with you kitambo because mimi sikwangi mse judgmental maybe we work with you kitambo and then tukaenda kila mtu akaenda separate ways like one of the guys when you to work yo track ya congo mm-hmm. the producers from malawi Yeah. The guy on the hook is from Congo. To limit to Kiwa Daysta. We were ah, students. Na cheki. Na tulikuwa ngatu wote chuo. Lakini sasa hizi tukamaliza kila mtu akaenda akarudi home. Sasa my guy says as we are speaking he's in South Africa. The other guy is I think bado ku Kenya. He's mm-hmm. pushing music. Okay. All right. And uh, for the I've also done a couple of other international collabs with a guy from Canada. Overdose and then kuna ingine and in it were these feelings with a guy called Kronos from Texas. Yeah. And then he called me back again mm-hmm. for another feature where he added Chris Kaliko. Sijui kama mnajua Chris Kaliko but for hip hop heads they know who that is. Wanajua Chris Kaliko ana kuanga ile click yake na Tech 9. Yeah. Una check it. Yeah. Bas. All right. All right. That is quite a journey. But how about home? Home um, nimefanya collabs pia actually. <laughs> I've done a couple of collabs. Who be a dream collaboration at home? Yes. Yashinski. Yashinski. Walai tena? Walai. No way. Okay, so OG little list yake and the Nani did not make it. Yashinski did make did not make our calligraphs list. List ya? Yake like top rapper of some money yeye. Alafu anatambua unso cardinal aska. Aska. Alisema anatambua yeye na aska. Akasema Yashinski amuoni. Amuoni. Okay, unajua thing is tango kitambo and this is a debate yenye inakwanga ngumu ku settle kwa sababu wasana walizanga katikati ya kali na nyash who's the best na cheki lakini kuna hii kuna kuna kwanga na kaufadhela fulani nyasha kwa nayo tangu kitambo yeah. whether we like it or not yeah. he's a fadhi yeah. ni kafadhi <laughs> flani ni huku jamani bazeng na cheki and then og tuna respect the guy and a flow yeah. as a rapper yeah. i know what it takes to do that um jamaa unampea tu respect. So respect respect the OGs. is it the lyricism or is it the flow for you okay for 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 who OG or nyash both who is the better lyricist better lyricist uh god damn that's a tricky one yeah, <laughs> tough but um when you unajua ku speak that fast ku mm. incorporate na wase waweze kukusikiza Yen kitu I know it's it's not easy by the way. Uweze ku rap that fast na waseweze kusikiza Kenya you actually sing. Unajua fonyash Kenya anafanyanga. Na watu tutengenezea ma vibes. Unajua ma vibes zenyewe unasikia tu ma vibes ma vibes tu tamu tamu and then akona zile ma lines ziko so simple lakini ukikaa chini u internalize na like eh ni ngongo hii line ilikuwa ngongori like competition na check kwa kiyo. Nika line ka simple lakini inakwambia niko ahead of the game. Unaona? And someone was telling me the other day like um the best rapper ni mwenye wametulia kwa mai. You can tell like uh they're relaxed. That is how you can tell like you can differentiate cuz sometimes you can struggle to kumbuka lyrics like well, true but yeah you're... but uno, kuna kwanga na pia thing is unapata the maybe the track iko na energy flani na ndo uweza ku deliver you need to have that energy unaona kama DMX yeah unaona DMX aki relax kwa mic itakuwa DMX kweli i wish i wish lazima kuja groom that's how you know that is who he is yeah. oh, now, let's talk about your album it's called throne yeah. tell us about the name you coming for the throne when the, the next king ama what is happening throne throne the album is like this is my debut album mm. and um as my debut album mm. 
inaonyesha the journey ya mimi going for the throne mm-hmm. una check i am actually chasing my dreams ukiwa na patron the first track mm-hmm. in the album and this i'm going to repeat again ukiwa uskiza the album skiza from the first song to the last song without skipping without shuffling it's a storyline inafuatana na ni get yeah. it's a storyline kana fuata ukifuata through from the first song throne inaanza nikisema i'm always going to be aiming for the throne mm-hmm. see i'm good but i could be bad na hiyo ni kama ina for shadow what is going to happen to the whole album because we see me going from being good i'm still chasing dreams mm-hmm. i'm fire burning fire burning for fire burning you're going to see the animation kwa animation kuna this ka hero that is the good side and then as the story progresses you're going to if you skiza vizuri to realize what brings the changes but as it ends we see the villain now the villain akitokea he's still chasing his dreams but can you not push is not positive energy you're pushed by negative energy now that's something oh, criticism. dangerous okay. not even criticism yeah as in zile tu ma, ma, ma challenges zenye umepitia ah. the, the pain the heart and all that they just fuel you to keep on going and you're not quite dangerous una kwa mtu i know Lately. and speaking of those negative emotions what are, what are they like what did you encounter during the making of the album did you what is what are some of these challenges you are talking about that you experienced during the know, making of I the album let me tell you a funny story my <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. so um the track the whole album will come record 2019 Imo mm-hmm. toka 2023 mm-hmm. hapa kuna some years katikati mm-hmm. unacheki so nika record the, the album the whole thing nimemaliza ku record nikaongoja my producer fanye ma- mixing and mastering pale pale ni nini kiasi kiasi files zikapotea <laughs> nikajambia you know what we have to do this nika rudi back in the booth i re-recorded again mm-hmm. alafu unajua nini kafanyika mm-hmm. ini nini mnafanyanga sg software yenu inapata ransom yenu na bwana lazima ulipe something eh, ndio uweze kupatiwa access to your stuff eh, ni, ni actually umesema ni ransom yenu eh, ikapata ransom yenu the eh. second time eh na hiyo ilikosea mimi si ndio ilikuwa ngani as in kuna kuna challenges before he come so yeah mama iko it okay iko as in mama ilikuwa ngani ile persistence nona kwa chasing dreams na semanga there was no option to quit yeah actually leave Consist- by what i'm saying consistency there was no option to quit yeah. right now i'm pacing i'm chasing can stand near the seat practically no one maiming at and them i can miss see i only got two options and they both for the win and we can drop the facade there was no option to quit okay nikaenda nikaenda ni career code tena my guy so i'm going to record my producer manzali ni fanya ile kitu ah ali ni ghost they do that where do they do that ku ghost wa sani they actually do that so alikuja kaniambia basically at that point in time alikuwa ndo alikuwa anaenda kufanya his internship Ah. And then so I shift to shift studio. Actually this is kama mnaona behind this is the studio. Mm. So I kenda internship kwenda internship akabidi ame shift location. Ku shift location akakuwa disoriented. So ikabaki ame ako hanging. Lakini blanda ni hakuniambia WhatsApp. Mimi namuuliza bro, ni nini shida? Bro, talk to me. <laughs> My guy, what's up? <laughs> Nothing. Ilifika mahali niko na we. Ika hivi itakuwa noma. Nikaenda nikatafuta na producer. Ukaanza tena yeah. from scratch. Yeah. Bro. Okay. Na mimi nasema anga sijui ni kama Mungu Mungu alikuwa ngamenge ile katikati somewhere along the way because in that journey unaona from 2019 nimeri record a couple of times. Yeah. By the time imefika luckily nikakutana na producer wa Calligraph Vince on the beat actually yeye yeah, ndo amefanya mixing and engineering ya hit track Chasing Dreams na Kilmonga kwa the ah. album. So ku meet na hizo chance encounters ikani 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 piga moyo ikani motivate kana my guy. Keep going. So ni kana kana another producer we recorded it again. And finally finally ikajipa finally. Finally. finally we're here finally we're here oh right, now what, why is the album so important to an artist's life especially for you it is your first album uh, you didn't start singing long ago you didn't start like uh, releasing tracks long ago 2019 so how important is it for you to release an album well, at this early stage of your career honestly honestly being honest and this was an amateur move that i made actually mm. because as Kianza is an upcoming artist of yeah. to an album. How na fans? Unatolea unatolea nani sasa? Unacheki. Unatolea album zima watasikiza kweli. Alafu sasa hizo sasa hizo sasa hizo Nyashinski ametoa yake, sasa hizo Sauti Sol ametoa yake, sasa hizo Kina Drake ametoa album. Watana kusikiza kweli. So thing is um 
for me nikianza in as much as nilikuwa ngani me record me record the whole album nilienda nikafanya i released the first track throne i did a launch when nilifanya hiyo launch ika register kwa minds za wase enyewe this guy is serious about this thing mm-hmm. and from then on after a while nika nika push nika promote as much as i could nikaenda nikatoa no lies did the same thing promoted it as much as i could after a while nika jaribu nika jaribu nikakutana na videographer we did what did you mean after what did you mean nikakachini kasikiza unjua what did you mean and lies because it's a somber mood nikakachini nikaona these are my first projects watu wataona ni kama i'm a sad i'm a sad person so nikaona acha niwangushie fire burn to mix things up but what i'd say um for me the importance of this album ni ati for me this is not just music i'm making this album is not just an album and we're going to come back to this <laughs> a few years, years later a not few a few years not later a few, not uh-huh. a few trust many me many years few. many years later we're going to come back to this now this is the first place i'm going to steal for you this guys eh? the album is a trilogy it's a trilogy this is the first phase the throne this is me aiming for the throne the next project it was titled the king it akuwa nikiwa hapo i've been in the industry after kutamakia yote so by the time 2019 ikuja by the time throne imetoka i've actually literally been chasing my dreams awesome unaona so by the time that. king ina come itakuwa it in pattern such a duration yenye nimesha ji establish i've already made a name for myself like as you're speaking i've already started making a name for myself itakuwa imenipata ile disemba yenye ni kama ni sha settle una cheki and that's that era and then after the king ikuja the kingdom All right. Msasha panga. Bro, you have a max that early come. in your life. Yes. Like una panga like in 5 years I'm doing this in 10. You guys are you yeah, guys yeah. are like that. Mna kwamba mna kwamba. Let me tell you something. By the time. Then kwambia chin. By the time. Check it. By the time the kingdom ina come. At that point in time, tutakuwa tunachezea BT na Oscars. Amen to that. Amen to that. Cool. <laughs> yeah, let me tell you let me tell una una kama na joke uh-huh. but i have i have a weird system uh-huh. i send myself mails every three years uh-huh. so there's a website that is send, you, you can send a mail alafu ina kutumia mail after three years uh-huh. so in that before that three years naandikanga it, it reminds eh, me ah nasema in, in this najiuliza sasa niaje bro ulifanya hivi 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 did this happen did you maliza this letter challenge letter to yourself eh, a letter to letter myself, to myself. Eh, cool. alafu sasa kuna moja kama ya 10 years inaenda kwa my mom Oh. But that's that's actually true. You suppose they say like um you're supposed to manifest the things you want to happen in your life yeah. Basically, and then you work, to have, you work to have a plan. To add them. Yeah. You to have a plan. If you you plan if you don't have a plan you're planning to fail. Yes, sir, and you're sasa. Exactly. There we go. All right, now as we are winding up, who have you featured on this uh, album? Are there any known names you featured on the album? On the album Ukikachini from the it's a 14 track project, it's gonna only three 14 features. 14 track, only two, my bro. 14. <laughs> <laughs> Kuna ma 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 Na mnasema ni ukama, ni ukama for team. <laughs> hey. Na kwa mbali tumefika sasa hizi I don't actually see myself as an upcoming. You're not. I'm not an upcoming. 14 tracks that's that's it's, a lot. It's, it's crazy. Yeah. It's, it's been a journey. Mm-hmm. But um kwa the 14 track project there's only three collabs mm-hmm. and that's in the very first three songs. Na thing is I knew what I wanted but nilikuwa najua singeweza kuimba in such a way back then una check so ni, i helped write the lyrics kwa hiyo kwa kila part unaona kwa the first song minini um throne i have to hold me on the second track frankenstein the phenom is also the producer ah okay. and on the third track i have jvik so ni hawa tatu oh jv kule mlikuwa nayo high school mwenye sasa ali ni pull up from high school ah, and then it. sasa mali imekuwa na a lot of people ni kwa the other stuff like kuna skits kuna skits uh, tatu kwa hizo skits kuna mari team shout out to her kuna israel lugadiru kuna hilda and then the producers like in a vince on the beat mm. jazz jazzy bass beats kuna arian indi actually arian indi na mefanya most of the production on the whole album mm. and uh, kuna hey kuna kuna watu wengi a lot of people ni sameni kisao pia frankenstein ameguza hiyo track it's okay yeah. it's okay yeah. i'm sure it's understandable all right so our uh, because um, the album is already out so tell your fans where can they find it and our fans as well unaweza patango mako wapi and your socials as well as we go you can find my music out on every platform that is kila mahali spotify deezer bumble all the rest but for the album as we're speaking it's exclusively 
boom play. Boom play. All right, yeah. amazing. Um, any shout outs? Shout out to my whole family. Shout B mix Nixamanga. I I always have this phrase. It's like for my people. It's like a greeting. Nixama B mix nation. Monasema what a guan. B mix nation. What a guan. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. what? Ah, that's what's up.